I'm starting a color study for this still life today and I think I need to add some purples to my standard starting lineup. This first one isn't too bad, it has some nice color to it. The second one is really grainy and pasty, I'm not a big fan of this one. The third one's not too bad, but it's very weak tinting strength and whoa, this one is very, very purple. The first one was RGH Quinacridone Violet Deep and I have it on my palette knife to compare to my setup. Make sure you don't have it angled up or down too far or you're gonna be deceived by the value. The next one I'm gonna try is Rublev's Violet Hematite. I'm not a fan of how the paint itself felt and the color just isn't really what I want it to be. Next we have Doke Transparent Sepia. That is a pretty decent color, weak tinting strength, but not too bad. And then we have our crazy dioxazine purple from Windsor Newton. It's a nice color, uh, but a little kooky out of the tube. So the interesting thing is mixing these two together, I actually get a pretty decent approximation for the lights of the boots. Uh, but these ones I'm actually more familiar with. I added burnt umber to that kooky purple and I get a very, very similar color. Now, while the two mixtures look the same opaquely, they look very different transparently, and I prefer to use paints I'm more familiar with. 